How to start speaking English fluently. How to forget about frustration. How to begin to spring up in terms of speaking, in terms of fluency. Hey, if you are new here, I am Dina and I am here to share my real life experiences in terms of learning languages or learning English. Let's get into them. I am here to share a few steps or a few tips that really helped me. And if you try, if you give it a try, those are actually going to work. Rule number one, make your best effort. All effort. Make all out effort. What does that mean? Let's say you are a part-time worker or a full-time worker. You have your family, you have your children, you have your own business. And of course, as we are a human, we might get tired, we might get, we might want to relax, but still there is some time that we are going to work on ourselves. We're going to work on self-improvement. So keep in mind, try to use all of those spare time on your improvement. When it comes to me, I started learning English intensely for about two years and I really focused on listening and imitating at the same time the audio recordings or podcast episodes every single day. I could spend for about three, four, five hours. I could listen five hours a day, I could listen six hours a day, or even the throughout the day when I was at home, when I was free, whenever I had even like five minutes, five minutes, I could put all of my effort into it. I really loved listening to it and I really loved exaggerating when I was shadowing when I was using the shadowing method or imitating. Just a short reminder, when you are imitating a podcast episode or when you are imitating an audio recording, make sure that you are exaggerating words, you are exaggerating phrases, and you are exaggerating the whole sentence. Rule number two, work on the same podcast episode work on the same content for about a week or for 10 days. Listen to it a few times a day, at least twice a day, and for the whole week or for about 10 days. It really works because it, it worked on me. It, it worked and it's going to work still. You can spend for about six months or, or a year I am still working on it from time to time, every now and then, when I have any time, but work on it, give it a try, give it a shot, it works and you're going to succeed. Keep yourself motivated, keep yourself energized when it comes to learning English, when it comes to learning something new stuff. For example, nowadays I am really curious curious about tongue twisters. I'm learning tongue twisters and I'm sharing it, using it every single day. This is now my morning routine. Immediately waking up in the morning when I have some time, it doesn't matter 5 minutes or 10 minutes a day, I do my best to repeat those learned tongue twisters. Nowadays I don't struggle because those are automatically comes out of my mouth and I really have fun when I'm saying it and I'm sharing it with a group of people or with my colleagues. So let's wrap it up. Rule number one, make the all out effort. Rule number one, make your best effort. Rule number two, exaggerate. When you're listening to the podcast episode or when you are imitating, when you are using the shadowing technique, exaggerate, exaggerate words, exaggerate phrases, 
And rule number three, have fun. Enjoy the process. Have fun. Keep yourself energized. Get energized when you're learning, when you're sharing, and live with it. Enjoy the presence. All right? Hit the button subscribe and see you next time.